weekend. Um, I mean, what? I'm not in a smile mode on Monday. <laughs> Let's talk about that game. I mean, it was so impressive what you did and what the kids did. It was. Uh, it was fun, you know. It was, it was real gratifying. I was happy. I was happy for, you know, for the kids because they invested a lot in the game and, and, uh, and the coaching staff. And uh, you know, both, both the kids and the assistant coaches did a great job of just, just executing what, what we called and what we practiced and what we planned. So, um, you know, if you can do that, that can be the result. And again, uh, you know, they, they, you know, he, he's the best at it. Paul's the best at it. They're the best at running it. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, we, were, we were fortunate. You know, we were fortunate. I know you said you said these balls upstairs or wherever it is. Can you now say what the yardage goals were for your defense going into that game? It wasn't so much a yardage deal. You know, the, thing, the things that we wanted to eliminate were, were the explo explosive plays. We didn't, we didn't want to give them a cheap touchdown, you know, and, and, and we wanted to make them drive. And really, you know, the one time they did score, they had to go 19 plays, and that was really the plan. It's just to you know, keep the ball inside and in front, you know, really, you know, try not to let them get on the perimeter, try not to let the ball behind us. You know? So I think that was really important. And, uh, you know, we, we wanted to tackle well. We tackled really well. We tackled at, I think, 90, 90 plus percent, which is our goal, which is hard to do. It's not easy. And uh, so that was the second game that we've done that. So I thought we, you know, a combination of those two things, and we didn't, we didn't give up explosive play. We tackled well, really benefited as well. So those, those are really more sort of goals than an actual number because they're going to get their yards. Um, so, but uh, it was a good job. Mark, uh, Goldie said that uh, Darius Smith played his best game yet. And uh, the Connor's going to have a hard time, you know, trying to get that starting position back. Can you talk about how Smith did? And yeah, yeah, he, Darius did a great job. He really did well. I think he's get he's got his weight down now. He's, he's at a manageable weight. I think he's in, in pretty good condition. Um, so you know, he's down all the way to 330 from 365 when he got here. Um, and that's been climbing steady since the beginning of the season. So he's probably down another 10 since Maryland. You know, which which has helped him. And, uh, you know, again, it, it will be it will be tough, but you know we're, we're hitting the point here a little bit. I mean, obviously we're still minus some guys that we lost for the season and those kind of things, but we do have some some competition. You know, we do have some competition up front, and uh, all those positions have competition right now, which is good, and that's what we're striving for. So we should be as deep as we can. Was it was there a point in the North Carolina game or maybe in practice where you just felt like the guys were starting to get it a little bit more and started to click for them or? Yeah, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing is, you know, I, I think there was, a, there was a period there where we were practicing pretty well. It's just a matter of, you know, getting the, getting the game day and keeping the same kind of poise and not and not trying to, to do too much and just guys stay, staying within their job. And really, you know, defensive football, you know, again, you can get exposed with one guy not doing his job. You know what I mean? You start to talk about two or three doing the job, but not doing the job on the same play, and now, and now you're, you're asking for trouble. So um, I think that was, you know, the other day, you know, that second half there against Carolina, I think we really started to execute, and we executed the other day, so I'm hoping we can snap back in and we can carry over on a short week. With all the shuffling that's been going on and, and all the you know, stuff that you guys are having on through, would, would it be possible to be at this point without a guy like Sean, you know, kind no. of that leader on the defense? I don't know, no. Definitely. He's, definitely held, he's definitely held it all together. He's been the one the one constant. Um, I would say him and Joe Nichols, to be honest with you, really have, have uh, you know, been the glue for us. They've been the guys that make sure that uh, the front end is coordinated with the back end and that we're, we're on the same page as, as all those guys are gaining experience. What have you seen from Sean so far this week? He's been unbelievable. I mean, he's, he's, you know, he's, a, he's a rare player. I mean, you don't, you, you know, he's once in a lifetime kind of guy that you coach. You know, there's very, there's very few uh, that you get an opportunity to coach like that. He's just, just a special player. He's really instinctive. He's really smart. He works really hard. He practices hard. He's a, he's a leader. He keeps a good temperament. He doesn't get too high, too low. I mean, he's just a, just a great player. Mark, I'll mention a guy like Ray Ray who had to sit out those games. It takes him a while to get back. Mm -hmm. but what have you seen as far as his progression? And then yeah, I think, where do you feel like he still needs to go to get to? You know, yeah, well, I think he's I think he's progressed. I think he's gotten better each week. I think he's practicing better. I think he's he's getting more confident back there. So, you know, the biggest thing right now is just to, again not not to try to do too much. He's a, he's a guy who has playmaking ability, but uh, we keep preaching to these guys that the plays will come. You know, guys got a chance in that game the other day to make plays when the, when the ball came to them. You know, by doing their job. And the defense shined because of it, because everybody did their job. That's when the defense shines, you know, not when guys try to go out of their way to make a play and do something outside of what their job description is on that play. And that's that's really what we need from Ray is just to do his job. He's going to make his share of plays and show up. When he gets his opportunity, he's just got to go ahead and make sure he's, he's disciplined and doing his job. And that, that goes for the whole defense, not just us. On a short way to preparation, are you going to be looking to use the same similar strategy on making Virginia pass more? Well, I'm not going to get into our strategy right now, but <laughs> you know, it's a, it is a shortened week and, and it's condensed, and, and you know, we're trying to we're trying to push everybody along and, and make sure that uh, they're as confident going into this game as they were going in the last game. Perryman and Peter, we have a couple of two freshmen. It seems like Perryman, especially, real, real big contributor this year for you guys. Perryman's been great. Yeah, he's he's uh, you know he's growing up and he's 
he's, he's, he's a run and hit player. He can show up. He can make plays. He's physical. Um, he can knock the ball out. You know, he can do all those things. He's got really good feet. And, uh, you know, he's coming along really well. So I'm uh, excited for his progress. He said the one thing that you guys sort of got out of is freelancing. is the one thing that you yeah. always want to make plays. Yeah. No, and, and he's learning. And he's learning. Mm -hmm. Even today, there was some things that he did out there practice-wise that, that I've seen him grow up. You know, where he just it wasn't a play that he, he had to make the play, but he had to do something to make sure the play was was done, and, and, and he did it. So uh, I think he's growing. He's growing every day, and uh, he's got good mentors. You know, in that room, you know, he's got obviously Mike is an excellent coach, and then he's got he's got Spence, and he's, and he's got Jimmy Gaines. So uh, he's got some guys to look to in that room that, that really work hard and can teach him how to work and, and be a be a quote unquote pro. You know? Any progress with Olsen Pierre? He was able to make two tackles last year. So he yeah, he did. He did. He made he made progress. You know, Olsen's been a little banged up since since training camp. Unfortunately for him, he's, he's had a, an ankle that he's kind of just nursed all the way through. So um, we haven't had a chance to really, I think, see him play to his capability. I think what he did on Saturday was a little glimpse of some of the things that he could do. I think he showed up and uh, played with better pad level, played with better get off, played with a better motor. So you know, he took some steps in that regard. Anybody ask about Virginia yet? I don't want to repeat the question.